This video covers the action game pack for the Strike Pack Horizon controller adapter, powered by the Strike Pack Central smartphone app. It can also assist with understanding other action style game packs. The action game pack utilizes the paddle buttons for recording and playing back sequences of button combinations or combos, which you will find in fighting games, action games, brawlers, RPGs, sports, and many other games. Please be aware that this game pack utilizes strict timings to support time-sensitive games. We do not condone or advise using it in any game that is prohibiting or actively monitoring for macro use. To get started, tap on the action game pack to go to profile selection. A game pack can store up to 9 profiles that will remain saved as long as the app is installed and no major updates are applied. Each created profile includes its own set of 48 recording blocks. For now, tap CM default to go to the dashboard. The gear head eyes will switch to pulsing green, indicating game pack mode. The RGB LED will display blue, indicating no active combo. On the dashboard, you will see that there is currently no recording. Let's change that. While holding the view button activator, tap right trigger. You will feel a continuous rumble. Next, the combo mode can be selected with your controller's face buttons. Each mode has a matching RGB LED. Yellow is loop hold, red is play once, and green is loop combo. You can change the combo mode after recording, so stick with loop hold for now. Tap the paddle button that you wish to record to. You will feel a pulsing rumble and the recording will begin. The app will display empty recording blocks up to the number of currently available blocks. Each time you trigger an event, such as a button press, button release, or stick direction change, a block will be used up. If an event does not happen within roughly 5 seconds, a block will also be used up. Try to make efficient use of the recording blocks, minimizing unnecessary controller inputs and wait times. As a space-saving measure, analog triggers and sticks will be downgraded to digital buttons during recording and playback. You will especially notice stick movement being limited to 8 directions. It may be a little tricky to get your combo right on your first try. If you mess up, simply hold the same paddle button until it restarts the recording from the beginning. You can do this as many times as you need to. A recording will end in either of two ways. Either you tap the same paddle button to end your recording, or your recording blocks for this game pack profile will be depleted. Once your recording has ended, take a look at it. As indicated by each icon, an event can be a button press, button release, or stick direction change. If you wish, you can tap on any recorded time block to enter a new time between events. Entered values will round up to the nearest 10. Any blocks that were recorded after the last event will represent a delay before the combo can loop again. Depending on how long it took you to end the recording, this could be a single block or more. You can leave as is, enter 0 for no delay, or enter a different value. It may be difficult to correctly record your combo fast enough for the game to recognize correctly. This is where editing your combo dramatically helps. You can record the combo slowly and precisely, and then edit the timing after it is recorded to optimize it. For example a combo may be the following. Right D-pad, down D-pad, right down diagonal D-pad, X button. You can simply take your time, and record the sequence slowly. Once recorded, go and edit it, changing the press and release times to 30 or 60 depending on the game. Now when you play back your combo, the game will see it as the fluid sequence it requires, and you can successfully pull off that hard-to-do combo. Of particular note, the right down diagonal is represented as a right D-pad press and then a down D-pad press in consecutive order, followed by a down D-pad release and then a right D-pad release. It's important to note that the down D-pad press has a zero timing value, which is how we represent pressing at the same time. Lastly, you can rename your combo to something more memorable. Combo playback will depend on the combo mode. On the app, you can tap the combo mode that you wish to use. Loop hold has you holding the paddle button for repeated playback. Releasing the paddle button will immediately stop playback. Play once as you tap the paddle button for a single playback. Loop combo has you tap the paddle button for repeated playback. For both play once and loop combo, tapping the paddle button again will restart the playback from the beginning. Regardless of combo mode, tapping activator will stop playback. At the top left, 
tap the back arrow to return to the dashboard. From here, you can still tap the small square to cycle through combo modes. You can hold your finger on the small square to return to your recorded button information. If you want to clear a combo to claim back used up recording blocks, simply start recording to its paddle button, then immediately tap the same paddle button again. At the top right of the dashboard, tap the gear icon to go to settings. For controller interrupt behavior, block inputs prevents you from messing with your controls during combo playback. Pass through inputs grants you full access to your controls during combo playback. You can also have your controls stop, restart, or pause combo playback. If map stop is selected, your controls will pass through, and in addition to the view button activator, any controller buttons that you have mapped to the paddle button in use will stop combo playback. Opinions will vary on the best option for each game. If you are unsure, stick with block inputs for now. Turbo delay is shared by all mods that are labeled turbo, affecting the delay between button presses. Don't ask us for any other settings. Action is optimized for maximum recording blocks. Tap the back arrow to return to the dashboard. You can access the bottom bar which includes mapping and controller sections, a block mods toggle to use as needed, audio settings for app sounds and alerts, and support. You can tap each icon to open or close each section. For controller, our team is well aware that you may attempt to create a small generator of sorts with loop combo. We cannot promise that you will have enough recording blocks, however, if you are successful, you will want to be able to safely place down your controller. Block controller rumble can be toggled on to block and game controller vibration, while leaving game pack indicator rumbles and mod functionality alone. For mapping, the default configuration assigns all four paddle buttons to recorded combo, which allows you to record and play back up to four combos during gameplay. However, if you plan on using most or all of your recording blocks for three combos or less, or even just one combo, you may choose to assign one or more paddle buttons to a different function instead. To do so, hold your finger on its option to bring up the option selector with a list of paddle button mods. Perhaps choose turbo or just mapped buttons, and then afterwards, tap the paddle option, swipe through the available controller buttons, and tap to map or unmap buttons. When a combo has been replaced by a mod, it will be reflected on the dashboard. You can quickly change the mod by holding your finger on the large rectangle until the mod list appears. For support, please ensure that you are using an Xbox Series XS or Xbox One console, and exhaust our written resources before you use the email button. Your current profile settings information will be automatically attached. Describe the issue, provide relevant images or videos, and refrain from spamming. Even if your smartphone battery runs out, you can still use the current game pack. You can modify settings that use controller shortcuts, rely on RGB LED indication, hardware map paddle buttons as described in the manual, and switch between game pack and tournament mode by tapping both mapping mode buttons together. And that covers the basics of action game pack setup. For a full detailing of all current and future game pack features, please read the manual. If you enjoyed this video or found it to be helpful, drop us a like, subscribe, and hit that bell to stay tuned to Strike Pack Horizon.